Hi, if you want to learn or improve your rigging in Blender in 2021, I'd like to present to you some of the best resources in this area. Most of them are free, but I'll also mention a few paid courses that are really, really good. I tried to make a comprehensive list, but I'm sure there are resources that I'm not aware of. If you have any favorite rigging materials that I didn't mention in this video, share them in the YouTube comments. This video was inspired by Curtis Holt. He made the exact same type of video in 2020. I'm going to link to that video and it may contain resources that I didn't mention. Okay, I think I'll start with a completely random channel that I just found. It's called CG Dive or something. The guy has a weird accent, but the videos are okay, I guess. Okay, sorry. CG Dive is my channel. And in 2020, I have been focusing a lot on Rigify, which is a free auto-rigging system for Blender. I have a whole course on the topic. Some of the most important and foundational chapters of this course are available for free right here on YouTube, so feel free to check them out. If you want to go more in-depth, I also have an advanced Rigify course that is available for sale, and you can get 20% off if you enter discount code CGDIVE when you purchase the course on Gumroad. The name of my course is Rig Anything with Rigify. With this title, I wanted to emphasize that Rigify can be used to rig much more than just simple human characters, which is absolutely true. But as any auto-rigging system, Rigify has its limits. To get past these limits, you need to understand traditional or manual rigging. And some people simply dislike automatic rigging, you know, fair enough. If you want perfect control over every aspect of your rig, then you should do it all from scratch. I don't have many videos on manual rigging and I don't expect to make any in the very near future. I made my plans for 2021 and I'll be working on character workflows between Blender and game engines. If you are interested in working with characters for Unreal, Unity or other game engines, then you may want to keep an eye on CG Dive. As far as rigging materials, you can check out my crash course in Blender Armatures video. I also have videos on weight painting, custom bone shapes, and I'll keep making more videos around the topic of rigging but not about rigging itself. I think these tutorials will support you in your rigging journey, but you may need more than that to become a proficient rigger. And that's why I want to recommend the resources that I'm going to talk about now. I'll start off with the paid courses. This section will be over quickly because there are only two Blender rigging courses that I can wholeheartedly recommend. In my opinion, there is still a demand for rigging resources. If you have rigging skills that you want to share with the world, then stay until the end of the video and I'll give you my two cents about this subject, about how you can make good rigging content that people will be interested in. But the main benefit of paid courses is that they are comprehensive and well organized. Free resources, on the other hand, can be scattered and incomplete and they could leave some holes in your fundamental knowledge. The first course that I'm going to talk about is The Art of Effective Rigging by Pierrick. This course was released a little bit more than a year ago, and it quickly established itself as the number one resource for people who want to learn character rigging in Blender. With Pierrick, you're in good hands. He's a highly experienced and talented rigger and animator. He works in the industry as lead rigger and animator for the Noara project. And he's also a good teacher. I like how he first explains each concept in isolation and then he shows how to apply it in practice. That really helps with comprehension and you can always rewatch his videos as a reference material later. In this course, you're going to learn everything that I consider essential for rigging, like understanding orientations, parenting, working with armatures, constraints, drivers, weight painting, and so on. And if you really learn this, you'll be able to apply this knowledge to rig anything you like. You can buy the course from a link that I'm going to share in the description. It's an affiliate link that helps support this channel and it won't cost you more. In fact, if you enter coupon code CGDive at checkout, you'll get 10% off. The other rigging course that I highly recommend is Hard Surface Rigging in Blender, created by Jano Landry and produced by Creative Shrimp. 
Geno is another Blender artist with crazy rigging skills. As the title suggests, this course is focused on rigging mechanical objects like gears, joints, cables, and the last part of the course shows how to rig this flying drone from start to finish. But to me it's more important that this course covers the fundamentals of rigging. So similar to PRX course, you'll learn orientations, parenting, constraints, drivers, weight painting, everything you need to know. So again, I believe that if you complete this course, that will allow you to rig all sorts of characters that may or may not be mechanical. Which one should you choose? If you have a strong preference for rigging organic characters, then you may gravitate towards PRX course. And if you're more interested in robots and such, then maybe the hard surface rigging course is the one for you. But both courses are really well made and both cover the fundamentals nicely. Either of them will allow you to rig much more than what appears on the surface. So another way to choose is to watch the intro videos for each course and decide which teacher style you like better or flip a coin. Really, you can't go wrong either way. Personally, I bought both courses and I am happy with both purchases. I'll mention two more paid resources really quickly. The Face Rig in Blender course was released recently and the results look stunning. I can't really recommend this course fully at this point for two reasons. First, I recently bought it, but I haven't watched it yet. And second, it's a specialized course, whereas my focus in this video is on resources that can teach you the fundamentals of rigging. But still, it looks like a great course, so I thought I'd mention it. Another great paid resource is CG Cookie. It's a subscription website, so you pay a monthly fee and then you get access to all of their content. CG Cookie is not specifically focused on rigging, but they do have a rigging section. I am not currently subscribed to CG Cookie myself, so again that makes a full-on recommendation a bit difficult, but from what I see, I think the rigging a transforming rifle in Blender 2.8 series looks very promising. And there is another course called Short Film Character Production. And this course is phenomenal. But I'm going to talk about it later in the oldie but goodie section. Since this course is for Blender 2.7 or 2.6, so before the 2.8 interface changes. Now let's focus on the free resources. Let's start with official materials coming directly from the creators of Blender. Inside Blender, if you click on Help and then Manual, or Help and then Tutorials, you'll be taken to two different parts of Blender's website. Under Tutorials, you'll find this Blender Fundamentals series. If you click on it, it will take you to a YouTube playlist that covers a lot of ground. It shows you how to work with the interface, create meshes, etc. And if you scroll down, there is a video called Rigging Intro. All videos starting from rigging intro and down to the graph editor video are related to rigging and animation in one way or another. So that's a great way to learn the basics. The manual is also very important. It covers all areas of Blender and there is an animation in rigging section. I highly recommend that you become friends with the manual. It can be hard to read but it is the only resource that covers pretty much everything there is about Blender. If you have a rigging problem and you're waiting for someone to make a tutorial for your specific issue, you may have to wait a long time, when the answer that you're looking for may be in the manual all along. So definitely don't skip the manual. Moving on, Level Pixel Level is probably one of my favorite YouTube channels with focus on rigging. They have awesome tips like how to deal with gimbal lock. There is a series on drivers, which is very, very important for rigging. There is a series on rigging a mech. And recently they released a new series on creating a low poly knight character from start to finish and exporting it to Unity. I think you'll learn a lot from this channel. Another favorite of mine is Dico. He started making Blender videos about a year ago and his channel grew very quickly. Dico brings valuable experience as a Maya rigger. 
This is awesome because, as any community, Blender can become a bit of an echo chamber, where the same ideas are being bounced around and no one is questioning them. People with new, fresh ideas are very much needed. Dico does a great job of explaining fundamental rigging concepts in a way that is easy to understand. That is exactly the style of rigging content that I like. Royal Skies is another Blender YouTuber who made a name for himself over the last years. His speciality are short, snappy videos, each focused on an important aspect of Blender. Among his rigging videos you'll find how to fix knee clipping in 60 seconds, weight painting in 5 minutes, custom bone shapes in 30 seconds, and so on. When you put all of these videos together though, you get hours and hours of content that easily cover the most important issues that you are going to face in rigging. The whole channel gradually builds a female character that can be animated in Blender and exported to Unity. Recently he even covered some motion capture and retargeting workflows. Armin Halleck. Armin's YouTube channel appeared recently on the Blender scene but from what I could find out about him, he is an extremely experienced rigger. We are very lucky that he decided to share his knowledge with us. At least at this point his channel consists of one ongoing rigging series, the Countess Shogun. The goal of the series is to create a robust rig and finally export the character to Unreal. The quantity of content may seem less than that on other channels, but the quality more than makes up for that. Armin is teaching you the fundamental principles of rigging and along the way he shares advanced techniques that you may not be able to find anywhere else. Next, once again Pierrick. I already mentioned Pierrick and his course The Art of Effective Rigging. Pierrick also has a YouTube channel where he shares rigging tricks and tips for free. Lately he also started posting interviews with industry professionals, which are a great listen. But back to his rigging videos, some of them are advanced topics that build upon his course. But you can also find beginner friendly content, for example his Game Boy character project in which you'll learn how to model, rig and animate this character from scratch. Index 3D has a series of videos on mechanical rigging. Good videos on mechanical rigging are hard to find, even harder than tutorials on rigging organic characters. He also has a video called All Constraints Explained with example. Understanding constraints is super important to rigging, so check that out. Grant Abbott is a very popular Blender teacher. He is not really focused on rigging, but he has a lot of beginner-friendly videos. Often he creates full project from start to finish, and some of them also include the rigging process. He has a playlist called Beginner Guide to Animation in Blender 2.8, which will give you a basic overview of rigging. I highly recommend Grant's channel, especially to people who are new not only to rigging, but also to Blender in general. Next, I want to bring to your attention a few people whose material is a bit more advanced. If you are still a beginner, you may want to bookmark them and study them in the future. The Rigging Dojo was founded by professional technical artists from the VFX industry. Their combined experience is just overwhelming. With the growing popularity of Blender after the 2.8 release, they took interest in Blender. Brad from the Rigging Dojo is very active in the Blender community. You can spot him suggesting improvements in the Blender developer forums, sharing knowledge on Twitter. He is even on CG Dive's Discord server and sometimes he helps us solve difficult rigging problems. But anyway, most of the Blender related material from the Rigging Dojo can be found in a blog post titled Blender Motion Editing Secrets. I will link to it in the description and I think you'll find it very interesting if you're looking for information on motion capture and retargeting. Jim Crovey. My buddy Jim knows his stuff. He is the creator of Mr. Mannequin Tools, which recently received a grant from Epic. Congratulations, Jim. His Blend add-on is a collection of useful rigging tools, which I'll probably review on CG Dive at some point. If you watch his devlogs on YouTube, you can learn a lot, but beware. Jim is basically constantly Python coding as he is rigging. It's not for beginners. 
Next, Luciano is an awesome animator. His channel is not focused on rigging, but he has a series about Rigify that you may want to check out. He also released videos on character linking and proxies, which can be very useful to advanced users. Active Motion Pictures is another buddy of mine. He's originally a Softimage user who transitioned to Blender and he has even went to become a Blender certified trainer. His channel is also not so much focused on rigging at this point, although he told me that he intends to upload more rigging videos in 2021, but something that I want to recommend from his channel are his videos on the NLA editor in Blender. I think they were really well made. The next category is oldie but goodie. Here I want to go over all the material from before Blender 2.8 that is still valuable despite being old. Newer users may be put off by the interface differences, but I assure you that the inner workings of Blender have not changed that much. For anyone who is serious about rigging, I would highly suggest giving these older materials a try. Humane Rigging is the course from which I personally learned the fundamentals of rigging, and I'm certain that it has been a huge influence on almost anyone who has been involved in rigging in Blender for a longer time. This course was put together a long time ago by Nathan Vegdal, who is also the initial developer of Rigify. At first it was a paid product, but as it became older it was released on YouTube. I think in the spirit of Blender, the whole course was made open source, but I'm not sure about that. This course has aged very well, the principles it teaches you are still applicable today. If you cannot afford one of the paid courses, I think this is a really good alternative. In the description I'm going to share a YouTube playlist where you can find this course. Next up we have Dan Pro. Dan Pro's YouTube channel holds a wealth of comprehensive rigging tutorials that range from basic to advanced, from organic to mechanical. Unfortunately, the creator of this channel stopped creating and uploading new content around two years ago, which is an absolute shame. I think with the release of Blender 2.8, his channel would have blown up. Daniel Kreuter is a popular Blender YouTuber who creates characters in anime style. Some time ago he created a short but really insightful series on rigging that I still reference from time to time. His use of the mesh deform modifier and the way he sets up hair physics can definitely come in handy. Another old course that I would highly recommend is Kent Trammell's short film character production. This course is only available with a subscription to CG Cookie. It shows you the full process of creating a bird character and the rigging portion is really detailed, like everything that Kintramel does. I think you can learn a lot from this, but again, the course uses the old interface of Blender and also you can only access it with a subscription to CG Cookie. Okay, I hope you liked this list of resources and I hope you'll find a favorite among them and you'll start studying. In the description of the video I'll also share a bunch of unsorted links. They contain bits and pieces of rigging knowledge, but they are either less focused on rigging or maybe I'm not as familiar with their content. At the end I'd like to say a few words to anyone who may have the skill to create new and original rigging tutorials. First of all, we need your knowledge. Making tutorials is not easy. It's uncomfortable to talk to the mic. If you're like me, you'll mess up every single sentence and then you have to fix it while editing. Organizing your thoughts so that they make sense to others is difficult. And don't get me started about video editing. It is the biggest pain in the butt. But in my opinion, it is worth it. The Blender community will love you for your effort and you can even earn money that way. One of the biggest worries that you may have is getting noticed. After all, spending a lot of time on a piece of learning material and then no one noticing it does not feel nice. Luckily, in the Blender community, there are a lot of communication channels where you can share your creations. But one of the easiest way to make people notice you is to give your content a unique angle. Solve an interesting or important problem and you'll have an audience. Notice when you solve a problem for yourself. Chances are that someone else will benefit from your solution. 
In my case, that was rigging with Rigify. I noticed that all Rigify tutorials were showing how to rig a human, or a quadruped at most. Then I looked deeper into the add-on and I was like, you can do what with Rigify? And I realized that that can be useful to many people. Focus on your content. You don't have to be funny, you don't have to be charming, you don't need perfect editing. I often hear that people won't watch videos with bad audio, but my first tutorials were recorded with a clip-on mic that was noisy and it was popping whenever I said P or H. Just make sure that the audio is loud enough so that people can hear you. Now back to the issue of getting noticed. I also want to add that you shouldn't be too short-sighted. Most people will give up if they don't get a lot of recognition for their first video or tutorial or whatever. Instead, make a goal to make 20 tutorials and then evaluate your performance. Even better, make a hundred pieces of content before you worry too much about performance. When you're new, you should definitely post your stuff to Blender Nation. That will give your content at least a little bit of a boost. Other good channels are Twitter, the Blender forum on Reddit, the Blender Facebook group, and pretty much any social media that you are familiar with. And finally, don't work in isolation. Talk to other creators. It may be stressful to contact someone out of the blue, but trust me, the Blender community is super nice and supportive. If you contact me personally with something that you created, I'll definitely try to support you at least with a retweet or something like that. But definitely start talking to people when you already have some material. Just having an idea is not enough. I personally started contacting a lot of Blender people when I had about one third of my Rigify course finished. I want to take a second to let you know that I started a Patreon account. On screen you can see the names of the wonderful people who started supporting me right away. If you want to join them, go to patreon.com slash cgdive. And that's it. I hope this was useful. Please click like and subscribe and talk to you next time.